That was terrible. <laughs> that was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction Mondays. Monday. Preseason week, I guess, is it technically preseason week two? Because preseason week one had just one game in it, right? Yeah. I, think, I think that was week zero. Okay. Yeah, that week was week zero. Right, that's that's week week Everybody's zero. played at least a preseason game, and let's roll. Let's I ride. Forgot. Let's ride, as Russ says. I, for, I mean, come on. What do you got? I, I forgot there were only three preseason weeks this year. What that's, do you got? That's great. What do you got? <laughs> hey, Rich. What do you um, got? Zach Wilson got hurt over <sighs> the weekend. Uh, this injury has the Jets hype train already derailed. Yeah, of course it is. That's a total. Uh, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Because even if he does come back in two to four weeks, let's say it's let's just let's just let's just be uh, somewhat optimistic. Let's say it's three weeks, so he'll miss week one out of a precaution or whatever. So we're gonna stick Flacco out there against the Ravens defense. Flacco, Flacco. little revenge game. You just try yeah. and bank on that. Whatever. I'll tell you this, man. Whatever. Even with all of the optimism, yeah. He's going to be dealing with this. And yeah, what is he going to He's going to wear a brace? Kid's, kid barely looks like he's old enough to drive and his knee is already three times his age. So even if he does look so great and come back, who the hell knows? That was a non-contact drill. Absolutely. We're, we're, I'm, I speak for all of us and Jets Nation. We're in a tailspin right now. We're in a tailspin. And it's good. Joe Flacco's going to land a plane in week one, week two. Are you talking about Zach's knee or his dick? No, okay, very good. <laughs> which, which was it? Uh, yes. So the hype train is definitely derailed at the moment. Because their young quarterback already is having his knee opened up. And it's we're halfway through August. Not great, Bob. What else? Hey, uh, you see who went 13 of 15 with two touchdowns and a 132 passer rating yesterday? Who was that? The Steelers should start Kenny Pickett week All one. All <laughs> righty then. It was the second Just half. Go for it. it was the second half, and he's winging it around against some people who will be working in a Home Depot in about a month. But I'll tell you this. He looked very confident in knowing where to go with it. He was decisive. He made quick decisions, and he was accurate, and he was very, very good. I don't know about starting week one. I would love to see that. As you know, I like being right. Yeah. But <laughs> the whole idea was three weeks ago, things didn't look so good. He wasn't working with the ones enough, if at all. And now he came out in the second half of this game, again, against players who may not be on the team in a month. But he looked really sharp. He also looked like he knew what he was doing, and he wasn't fumbling for any light switch. Or fumbling. So, I guess that would be an overreaction that I'm trying to be more right. nuanced now. Oh, well done. What else? Thank you. 17 for 129. Uh-oh. TJ. What are we doing? Was that was that CD Lamb seventeen catches for hundred twenty nine yards? No, that was that was that was that was was it was it was it was it was it Zeke was, and Pollard oh, combined oh, seventeen for hundred twenty nine oh, yards? No, uh, that was no, what that was, was the, what was that stat then? That was not seventeen for one twenty nine. Guys, penalty issues are going to keep the Cowboys from the playoffs this year. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to clean it up. They're cleaning it up. You heard what Mike McCarthy said. They're cleaning it up. But uh, definitely not the, the, the best first foray after the uh, 14 penalty barrage. It's weak. In, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the season ender. So that's 31 penalties yeah, in the last the two games. Again, this is just the first go round, man. What? It's just the first go round. You're not going to be kept out of the playoffs because of 17 preseason penalties. But it is a concern. Yeah. Yeah. It's a red flag. Sure all is. those yellow flags. But it is, like you said, week one. It's still early, but... Man. Again, it's a bunch of guys who are... who are. But, but again, did you see some of these not penalties? Not going to be though? on the team. Did you see some of these penalties? I did like, not. Some of them were... Would you care to account for some of them? Some of them were... I mean, just Are the you whole, caping right now? No, but I'm just saying this whole preseason, like... Um, what? You're saying the refs are struggling a little early out of the box? I mean, you watched the game, or have there's you emphasis. watched it? There's, there's just, emphasis. There's some emphasis. of them are penalties. Some of them are a little, like, questionable is all I'm saying. I doubt they'll be called together. in the regular No one else had 17 <laughs> penalties this weekend, though. <laughs> I'm not making excuses, but that I'm not dealing like with you said it. Uh, honestly, uh, sounds like an excuse. I mean, how 
about them cowboys? Are we going to have to deal with this crap all year already? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh absolutely. I I, mean, I I would uh, I, yeah. I'm Rich Eisen and I personally guarantee it. I mean, ten plus penalties every you. game. I mean, come on. It's an overreaction, though. All All right. Right. It's an overreaction. Clearly, although I like the way the Eagles look, brother. Oh, <laughs> Rich. Speaking of, yeah. Do you know what the um when someone is perfect in a game and they play the quarterback position, it's called you have a perfect, perfect passer, passer rating. rating yeah. Do you know what that number is? One fifty. Four it's 158.3. 158. Okay. I don't know what the calculation is. I don't know what that algorithm is. Yeah. Let me check my model, TJ. I don't know what it means. You got a model? Okay. Yeah, he has a model. 158.3. That's a perfect passer rating. You know who had that over the weekend? Who's that? Jalen Hurts. Oh, baby. Was six for six, oh, yeah. 80 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, baby. For a Coming perfect for passer it? rating. Yeah, baby. Guess what, guys? The NFC East is the Eagles division to lose, oh. and Hertz is going to be an MVP candidate. All right, that's an overreaction. <laughs> fly, that's Eagles a total fly. overreaction. I what? thought you, 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 if you had toned that down a little bit, you, 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 you had me there. Because as you know, one of the things I'm about to try to talk myself into over the next three weeks is that the Eagles win the NFC East. Uh, I, 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 two words for you. It's not Jalen and Hertz. It's Cheese not steak? Nick or Sirianni. <laughs> No, it's not cheese and steak. No, it's not Gino's and Pats. Balboa? It's not any of that. No. Rocky and Balboa. Okay? It's not water and it's not fertilized. It's not. Okay? And it's not AJ or AJ Brown or whatever you want. I, I could keep going on Dr. about G. the obvious. Jordan, Jordan Davis. Is a large human being. Yeah. He was getting triple teamed. Jordan Davis. I'll say it one more time. Jordan Davis. Keep an eye out. I, I'm, I'm already, and I know. My Michigan man, and I know Jordan Davis's teammate that was drafted first overall will be pegged as defensive player of the year candidates. Do not sleep on Jordan Davis, who is creating major problems and wreaking havoc. I like the Philadelphia Eagles. I cannot say Jalen Hurts is going to be an MVP candidate and that their division is theirs to lose, but they made the playoffs last year. Everybody forgets that. And that was some really good, uh, I would think, team building and growing experience. Nick Sirianni is a playoff coach, and Jalen Hurts is a playoff quarterback, and everyone else in that team that's come back is a playoff player. So, and those obviously who were there for the Super Bowl a few years ago, as that is a dwindling bunch, can help lead this team to the NFC East title, I believe.